Okay, what we have here is a Tenma 72-455 audio generator, function generator, some call it. Um, produces both sine and square waves from 0 to uh, roughly 10 hertz to uh, a megahertz. And it does it in five ranges, uh, times 1 through 10,000. It has uh, an amplitude adjustment uh, that can take you from 0 to about 7 volts peak to peak. And an attenuator adjustment that provides um, 6 ranges of attenuation from 0 to a minus uh, 50 dB. It has a 600 ohm output. Um, comes with a, uh, a set of test leads. I have it connected up right now to a uh, to a frequency counter and uh, to an oscilloscope. So at the moment we're looking at uh, 10 hertz signal and uh, we're on sinusoidal and as I sweep my signal up we can see the, uh, the frequency increasing, the amplitude is stable. Take us up another decade here and we'll take the switch to the next range, take her down to uh, the low end, and we'll swing her up. Okay, next range, we'll take her down. times a thousand very stable output on this thing so far at 10 10,000 uh, that's over a megahertz here we are running about 1.2 megahertz in this case and uh, we'll take her back down to where we hit uh, okay So on the high end, we uh, we lose out uh, somewhere up around 800,000 hertz. We uh, we drop off quite a bit. Part of that's going to be due though to the uh, to the counter. So let's uh, let's disconnect that counter. Not load it. Take another look at it. Okay, swing around. And there's the one megahertz. So that'd be the end of the range. Um, we are right now setting on a negative 10 dB. Uh, we have uh, 0.2 volts per division. We are running about 0.6 volts. Um, I could put around zero or move through the division switches for the attenuator. This unit uh, also produces uh, square wave output and uh, as you can see here we are um, we are running the square wave from 10 Hertz to 100 Hertz and this is um, 100 down I'm sorry, this would be a thousand down to a hundred. This would be uh, ten thousand to a thousand. And we'll kick ourselves up so we can get a better look at it. Ten thousand. Thousand to ten thousand, sorry. We are at a thousand going to ten thousand, and in this case, we are at ten thousand going to a hundred thousand, and then a hundred thousand going to a million. And as you can see, we lose our square wave somewhere, again, 
right around a half, oh, 500,000 hertz. So as you can see, we have both sine and square wave signals. So the unit is very clean, very nice looking. It functions well. Um, its specs have it as a very low distortion unit. I, I do not have a distortion meter to measure the distortion. But looking at the sine wave, you can tell it's a, it's a very clean sine wave. Um, there's no visible distortion on it. Not that uh, you could tell that much by it. But swinging, this is right now on the times uh, 1,000 range. And uh, swinging from 1,000 to uh, 100,000 hertz. There's no uh, no deviation whatsoever on the uh, on the output. This thing is stable, and then going up to around uh, seven eight hundred thousand hertz, we're stable, and then we break off and get our three dB drop. So um, it's working well. I uh, if there's any questions, please don't hesitate to ask, and uh, good bidding.